This program brought to you by Unity Productions Foundation and the Foundation for Ethnic Understanding. Unity Productions Foundation produces documentary films and implements long-term educational campaigns aimed at increasing understanding between people of different faiths and cultures. UPF films have been viewed by an estimated 150 million people worldwide and have won dozens of national awards. UPF's latest interfaith project is My Fellow American, an innovative online campaign that calls upon concerned Americans to respond to rising anti-Muslim sentiment by sharing a story on YouTube and taking a pledge to end bigotry towards American Muslims. Muslim Americans are our fellow Americans. They have contributed to our country in so many ways. They are part of the national fabric of this country and they contributed greatly to building this country. My name is Rabbi Mark Schneier. I'm Russell Simmons, and I'd love for you to support the My Fellow American Project. Join me in the My Fellow American campaign. I hope you all join me in protecting and celebrating the Muslim community. To learn more about My Fellow American, visit www.myfellowamerican.us. Unity Productions Foundation is pleased to participate in Muslim Jewish Feeding the Hungry events in cities across North America during the weekend of twinning. In 2007, 12 imams and 12 rabbis from around the United States came to New York at the invitation of Foundation for Ethnic Understanding to discuss how to realize the seemingly utopian vision of Rabbi Mark Schneier and Russell Simmons building lasting ties of communication and cooperation between members of two communities which then barely spoke to each other. The rabbis and imams decided to hold an event every November known as the Weekend of Twinning, during which mosques and synagogues in cities across North America would form one-on-one -on -one partnerships and hold joint programs together on the same weekend. By November 2011, more than 150 mosques and Muslim organizations and 150 synagogues and Jewish organizations took part in the fourth annual Weekend of Twinning in 26 countries on four continents. This November, the Foundation for Ethnic Understanding is joining forces with like-minded organizations like Muslims Against Hunger and Mosbia to sponsor Feeding the Hungry events in cities across the United States and Canada. During the fifth annual Weekend of Twinning, Jews and Muslims will visit soup kitchens, homeless shelters, and street corners together to offer nourishing meals to people in need. Then they will gather for learning and networking sessions to discuss and to celebrate the common moral imperative in Judaism and Islam to help those in society who are most in need. Listen now to the voices of a few of these quiet Muslim and Jewish heroes who have come together to do the holy work of feeding hungry and homeless people. In Quran, uh, it's more than 200 times uh, charity is mentioned, and it's mentioned right with prayer. This is really built into our system, and it's really built into our psyche. The imperative to help those in need is not just one phrase or one part of Jewish identity. It is at the heart and soul of Judaism. I grew up in a Muslim household, so it's been, always been a part of our culture to, to give to charity and to help those who are in need. When you have more, you have to share. It's an imperative to do something. It's not like we're doing charity. It's an obligation. I don't think it's justified for me to live so comfortably when there are people that are living without a lot of basic necessities. If you are not helping your neighbor, you're not a good Muslim. We call it a mitzvah, and by doing a mitzvah, we connect ourselves to the divine. We connect ourselves to God. Something that we share so fundamental in both faiths is the infinite value of each and every human being made in the image of God. In New Jersey, where I live, which is one of the richest states in the Union, 10% of people are classified hungry, and half of that is children. It kind of just shocked me that these people live in my backyard, and I'm a pretty educated guy, and I just didn't know that there's so much poverty in my backyard. But we have so much abundance on one level, yet at the same time, millions of people every day in America go to bed without enough food in their bellies. One of the facets of Ramadan is to really feel 
and not only just in an academic sense, but really as a practical matter, feel how those who are in need feel every day. It was something that really drove the point home for me. We need to educate ourselves, like I got educated going to a soup kitchen, and educate the community at large, not just the Muslim community. You know, hunger has no religion. I founded Muslims Against Hunger uh, in year 2000. I met uh, Zamir. A guy who, who runs it uh, is Zamir Hassan. It solved my interest and the community's interest to get involved with Muslims feeding people. He has everything set up. He brings the food, he brings everything, and we bring the people. And we all get together, make it, and then we go with him and, and deliver it. And it's, it's just been a great partnership. Doing this work together basically gives us a chance to really understand each other better than you know, what the media tells us. It's really important that we combat the false narrative that we can't work together, that we are too different or that there's too much separating us. The more I get to know my Muslim brothers and sisters, the less other they become. It's not right that we should seclude ourselves into our own uh, cultural or uh, nationalistic bubbles. We're all one people who have this common goal in mind, that we really want to make the world a better place. Both the Jewish faith and the Muslim faith teach followers to be constantly mindful of God and constantly aware of our blessings in our lives. It helps model for other communities how faith communities can work together uh, in improving the people and the lives around them. We all have common interests, common needs. This is very possible and we can all do greater good if we actually combine our forces. In a, in a time of need, I can trust this other community. They're going to be there for me if I was needy. Saving one life is as if you've saved all of humanity. And as a mother, it's particularly important to me that I instill that appreciation for all of life's blessings in my children. It's kind of the responsibility of Jews and of humanity, of human beings, to fix the world, to raise the sparks of the original pure light that are hidden in everything. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to get together with people from a different community, yet who are so similar, and do this work together. Caring for those in need, caring for the other, loving your neighbor. Whether it's called tikkun olam, or islah in islam, what it boils down to is caring for your sister, caring for your brother. I think that trust is very hard to come by in our society today. This kind of work is a rare opportunity for us to build it with people we don't know and people that we want to know, our neighbors. Islamophobia is basically on the rise. So I thought it was really important for people to see that Muslims have a better face to show the world. Last year when we started collaborating with Foundation of Ethnic Understanding, we had programs in Toronto and Boston and several programs in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Washington DC. For me, what really got me um, actively involved in the organization was when we did this, this weekend of twinning. This year, we are expanding these programs and Foundation had these programs all around the world. So I foresee that in maybe coming years, we could be collaborating all over the world. Doing this kind of work together will make the world a better place.